And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Now we have Nick Cave reading from his introduction to the book of Mark. When I bought my first copy of the Bible, the King James Version, it was to the Old Testament that I was drawn, with its maniacal, punitive God that dealt out to its long-suffering humanity punishments that had me drop-jawed in disbelief at the very depth of their vengefulness. I had a burgeoning interest in violent literature, coupled with an unnamed sense of the divinity in things, and in my early twenties the Old Testament spoke to that part of me that railed and hissed and spat at the world. I believed in God, but I also believed that God was malign, and if the Old Testament was testament to anything, it was testament to that. Evil seemed to live so close to the surface of existence within it, you could smell its mad breath, see the yellow smoke curl from its many pages, hear the blood-curdling moans of despair. It was a wonderful, terrible book, and it was sacred scripture. But you grow up, you do, you mellow out, Buds of compassion push through the cracks in the black and bitter soil. Your rage ceases to need a name. You no longer find comfort watching a whacked-out God tormenting a wretched humanity as you learn to forgive yourself and the world. That God of old begins to transmute in your heart. Base metals become silver and gold, and you warm to the world. Then, one day, I met an Anglican vicar, and he suggested that I give the Old Testament a rest and to read Mark instead. I hadn't read the New Testament at that stage because the New Testament was about Jesus Christ and the Christ I remembered from my choir boy days was that wet, all-loving, each-elated individual that the church proselytized. I spent my pre-teen years singing in the Wangaratta Cathedral Choir and even at that age I recall thinking what a wishy-washy affair the whole thing was. The Anglican Church... It was the decaf of worship, and Jesus was their Lord. Why Mark, I asked. Because it's short, he replied. <laughs> ¶¶ 